This is a story with points of view from all the characters and animals involved. He'd had a hard life. He hadn't liked people very much. They treated him badly. He'd been bullied and abandoned by them. He was a Yorkshire Terrier, a little ankle biter, but after all he'd been through, he was not afraid. He didn't care how big they were. He would give as good as he got, and oh boy, could he yap. He'd felt so lonely in that cage, and he had hated getting his coat trimmed by that girl. She'd called him vicious, amongst other names. So he'd gone for her and nipped her. She deserved it. She had been mean. It wasn't long before a family came for him. He'd liked the little girl straight away. She had been kind, and she had made him feel safe. Yes, he liked his new family and vowed to protect them. Nobody would come near them or his garden until the trees went away. Suddenly, without the trees, he could see everything and anyone who was passing by. They were all a threat to his family and he barked and yapped all day to keep them all away. They never did come near the house, they just went about their business but it would take him a while to get used to seeing them. After all, he was just doing his job. George loved being a postman. He was out in the open air getting exercise and looking at nature all day long, and he even got paid for it. Even when it was cold and raining, he always smiled, but not today. He saw those trees had gone. He couldn't fathom it out. The trees were healthy. They weren't in danger of falling or damaging anything. They were beautiful, evergreen fir trees. They only needed a trim. Now look at them, in a pile surrounded by sawdust. The cute little apple tree had even been hacked at. It still had some greenery on it, so it would grow again, but it would take a while for it to heal. It would have produced apples the following year, but not now. Fancy doing yourself out of beautiful, free, healthy apples, he thought to himself. He supposed it must have been because they wanted more light in the garden. But they could have just trimmed them, not destroy them. Poor Mrs Smith, she was now looking out onto their washing line. He knew she would much rather be looking at the trees than at their underwear hanging in the garden. It made him sad, and he didn't feel like smiling. The fox eyed the view suspiciously. It had changed. The trees had gone. He could be spotted easily. Hmm. He would have to change his route. The squirrel hopped out of the little woodland area to inspect the grass, as he did every day, and halted suddenly. It wasn't shaded anymore. The trees had gone. He felt vulnerable and hopped back inside the little woodland area he would watch and wait before he came out again. The hedgehog did the same. Oh no, he thought. I don't feel safe here anymore. Last winter I found some food and water in that garden. I'll have to look elsewhere now because I can easily be seen without the trees. The blackbirds, the wood pigeons and the magpies had also decided to stay away. Something wasn't right. Their habitat had changed. They missed the trees. The cat strolled out onto the grass and sat down. He surveyed the area. It was different. Oh, the trees had gone. He used to love sitting under those trees. He could watch the birds from there. He liked to watch them. He never got too close as he didn't want to disturb them. But they were gone now, along with the trees. Eventually, all the birds and animals did return, but it took a while. What a difference those trees had made, and now they were gone.